Okay, start the show. Okay, start the show? Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to another live episode of The Grid. We have a very exciting show today, but before we get to that, let's get to this. A man some of you may know as Matt Kluskowski, but I just call him honestly, Matt. <laughs> hey, Matty. How's it going, man? Good. Sorry I wasn't here for The Grid last week. That was me. You weren't here for The Grid? Yeah. Neither one of us was here. Oh, really? You weren't here <laughs> No, I wasn't here. Who was on The Grid? R.C. and Oh, that's Pete, right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. They had a good I, show, though. Mia. And Mia. Mia. Oh, that's and right. Mia, yeah. Yeah, they you had know, a really good show. You know what's interesting? Like, Mia was on the show, and, and I saw all these tweets and stuff about, oh, Mia was great and all, but no mention of Pete. <laughs> ah. Just that I'm awesome. Okay. Where were you? Where was I? I don't know, somewhere. I was, on, I was doing a shoot I couldn't get out of. I had, like, a, I had, I had rented, a, uh, like, a... Uh, location and I, I couldn't get out of it. It was like they said you can do it in these times, gotcha. and uh, it was a long story. I was anyway. in Portland spraining my ankle with our guest today. Yeah, I was in Portland two days ago with our guest. <laughs> so I don't know. We're all hanging out in Portland because, yeah, well, so. that's where all the cool people are. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We have a very, very special show. So uh, Brian Matias is here from Google. Uh, and as you know, or may know, or may not know, they uh, a couple of years ago, they purchased Nick Software, mm -hmm. uh, one of our favorite plugins in the world. And they, we have some news today. He's going to be revealing some important news. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe something new and unheard of. Anyway, what we would love for you to do, <laughs> unheard of. Well, it's been, we, we've heard of it. But yeah. Anyway, so uh, Brian's here. We're very excited to have him here. He's a great photographer, great guy, and uh, we're going to grill his butt. So, because uh, we have all Send kinds of questions. Send in questions. Yeah. I know you have questions, and really, this is more like a 60 Minutes kind of show today. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to make Brian nervous. <laughs> um, but lots of things going on. Uh, but if you would just take a moment real quick and just, you know, go to Twitter, Facebook, whatever, and just uh, invite people to come watch because I think they'll, they'll be interested to see what we have today. And it's always fun to grill Brian. Uh, just two quick things before we get to stuff. Number one, everybody's asking us, what is your comment about Amazon trademarking shooting on a white seamless background? You know what my first comment is? How the hell did they get that? Well, but you know what? Think about I know. It. Do you remember the song Happy Birthday? It's yeah. been around forever. And someone went and said, well, nobody really owns that. And so they basically went and somebody trademarked it. And now if yeah. you play, ha sing Happy Birthday on TV or something, you owe a royalty to this person. So Amazon, uh, I guess, did trademark this. I, I don't really blame Amazon for it because, you know, so many products that you see on Amazon – they're on a white seamless background. I can mm -hmm. see them saying, well, what if, you know, what if somebody else got to it first? You know, I can understand that because yeah. that would really screw up Amazon's yeah, business good? model. If somebody said, Amazon, every time you show a product on a white background, you, you owe us money. X, right? So I could, <clears throat> I can, but how could the trademark office go, oh yeah, this is very unique. This is very unusual. This should be trademarked and it should be separate. So it's not, I'm not, I'm not mad at Amazon. I'm kind of. Yeah. But Just, the trademark office, seriously, I would love to sit down with the person from the trademark office and go, explain to us the rationale that you said. Yeah. Because, you know, people had to look go at over it, what happened off that on day it. with me. Yeah, that day you're at the trademark office and you're probably drinking and stuff. And uh, <laughs> so what, what was it that all of a sudden, you know, I don't know, you're on meth. What was it? What is it that what makes you go? Yep. Check mark. Proved. I, 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 so well, you well, had a good point, though, about about. Because it, it's in review, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, it, I, I, I thought... I, I had a good article on it. Let me look and see if I can find this article. Uh, you, uh, let's say, here's what the article said. This is on Tech Dirt. And it says, the U.S. Patent Office grants photography against a white background patent to Amazon. It doesn't say it's in review. Uh, I thought I saw something that had it in review. Um, I want to read just a little bit of theirs. If you, if you haven't heard about this... Um, it says, uh, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office is frequently maligned for its baffling, terrible decisions. Well, I wonder why. Uh, and rightfully so. Because this is exactly the sort of thing which the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office should be maligned. Uh, UD Triosh at DI DIY Photography has uncovered a recently granted patent for the previously unheard of process of photographing things or people against a white backdrop. And it says, two of all companies... Amazon. So anyway, he, he talks about it and shows, you know, the, some stuff. Anyway, I, I don't know what even what to say because people are saying, what's your comment? What do you feel about it? What do you think we're going to feel about it? I think it's good. <laughs> yeah, I can never I do know, a lightning diagram again. I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of like, I just don't even 
don't even know. So it's just kind of baffling. It'll be interesting to see where it goes because it's, you know, what's, so what really is part of this? Is it the graphics? Can someone make a lighting diagram that uses different graphics? Can someone make a, you know, because that's a very different angle, you know, could someone make a lighting diagram? And there's a lot of lighting diagram tools out there. I don't know. Oh, here's the thing. Do I think Amazon's going to enforce this? Do I think all of a sudden Amazon's going to go to everyone? I that don't did think a, it's in their I best interest. I think it would be the worst thing Amazon could possibly do. I would really, really uh, say, hey, um, so someone said, uh, what, Alan, I guess, says, a big difference between trademark and copyright and patent. Mm. Please get them straight. Oh, okay. Well, we're attorneys. No problem. Sorry, Alan. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for adding to the discussion. Uh, all right. So that was one thing. Basically, it's just, I don't know what it is. Uh, two, big thing. This is big. Now, I got to get, I gotta get some, some stuff ready here. Um, number one is both Canon and Nikon introduced brand new lenses. Yeah. All right. So I want to talk about those. I, I got to look them up here. So uh, Canon introduced two new lenses. They 16. introduced a 16 to 35 F4. Now, I don't have this lens yet. I have the 16 to 35 f 2.8, and Me I just too. spent two solid days shooting that lens. I love that lens. This one is less expensive. It's, uh, yeah, that, there, there it is right there. That's the, uh, the Canon 16 to 35. And look, where's it from? B&H. We love those guys. All right. So um, the big difference is, is the F4, and it's got, but this one has IS, where the one that we have doesn't have It does have not have IS, IS, right. But. So, uh, but you know what it is? I guess when I, th I always think when I'm shooting a 16 millimeter. I'm not shooting. I'm not shooting people. I'm not in the studio. I'm shooting a 16 millimeter on, on a, a landscape, tripod. on a tripod. Yeah. So, so anyway, but that, that's pretty good. They Somebody also, must want it. <laughs> they introduced this one. Now this one is for crop sensor lenses. It is the 10 to 18. It's an F 4.5 to 5.6. So it's a variable uh, aperture lens. 299. Wow. I know. 299. So anyway, that's, God, that's, dude, uh. I bought I bought my I bought a Canon 10 to 20 millimeter like 10 years ago for like over a thousand dollars. Right, it's crazy. Now give me just a second here. I want to pull up this other thing. Let's do I have it here? Because Nikon had some a new. Well, the one I wanted to point out that I thought was kind of interesting. I don't know if I've got a picture of it. And by interesting, you mean? Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me get it. it. Let me open it on my screen. Hold on. Is um is this one? So Nikon introduced. Well, they already had a 400 f2.8, so they introduced a brand new 400 f2.8. It's about two pounds lighter, so that's really big. But um, the thing that kind of shocked me was... It's 299 as well? No, uh, it's $12,000. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> that's a lot of money for a lens, but they increased the price of the old 400 2.8, so by $3,000. Hold on, I have a... Uh, Hold on. So it went up by 3,000. How much? Hold on. Let me say it again. Here we go. It went up by, and I want to look at the camera here. $3,000. Now, well, I want to give you the exact price. I'm, 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 it's 11996 So if you're willing to save, if you want to save seven bucks, buy this instead. <laughs> so seven bucks cheaper. I couldn't figure out why you had that open. <laughs> <laughs> seven bucks cheaper. I don't know. Is it just me? <laughs> that seemed like a lot. Anyway, hey, um, we have Brian Matias here. We're going to be looking at some new stuff from Google. Uh, well, from Nick, which is slash Google slash. He works for Google. So, Hey, where'd you get your uh, hat from? Here? No, at Photoshop World, they were, in the, they were selling it in the bookstore. Really? Okay, the reason I'm wearing a hat today is I just came off a red eye from Portland. You have bed head? Dude, I got, I got <laughs> hair. Like, you know how you sleep, like, on the, it was a red eye all night and all, and it's just, my hair was so bad. I was like, I just went home and went to bed and got up for this show. So uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a good day for my hair. Anyway. Uh, it's like out to here, isn't but, it? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> but you know what's weird is, like, I don't, I don't think we sell this hat. Like, we sell it at Photoshop where we have a whole, like, we have shirts and hats and bags and all kinds of stuff. But I don't know if we actually, do we, can you buy this? I don't think no. anybody loved it and wants one. Yeah, I know. need a hat, people saying give it away. Well, do we have one we can give, give it, it away? away now. You, no, you don't want mine. You know why? Mine lost its shape. Bad, I, I, it? I packed it in my suitcase from Vegas, <laughs> I mean, from wherever we were, Atlanta, to come home. And it got kind of, I need a new, fresher one. But will you, can you find us one? 
All right, Fresh. giveaways, giveaways. We've giveaways. got, first off, um, Brian has been very gracious. He's going to give away an entire Nick software suite. So the collection, the Nick software collection it's called, uh, with all their cool plugins. So that's, he, we're giving away that today. We're we giving got, away. We got two books that are burning up the charts. Burning uh, up the charts. Burning up. So uh, first off, Scott's Photoshop for Lightroom users, which is basically just, just the Photoshop stuff you would do if you're a Lightroom right. user. Right, so if you're using Lightroom and you think, I'm gonna add Photoshop to this, but I don't, I don't wanna learn all of Photoshop, then it just, that's it's just that. And Corey, the design freak Barker, Down and Dirty Tricks, volume two. So this is different Amazing from- Amazing book. Yeah, this is different from his first book. It's volume two, all kinds of new, all new stuff. All new stuff. All new effects, all great stuff. And then, uh, you know what, we got one more prize. Let's, uh, I will, I'll bring it up after the break here. I got so a prize can... still. Oh, I'm going to Nashville with my seminar on June, Something. something. 16th, I think. Could be. 12th, something. Um, anyway. Uh, Thanks, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's calling Matt out for chewing gum there. Uh, yeah, I can't get rid of there it until it we go on 17th. break. There it is, the 17th. Damn, I was close. Yeah, you were close. So the 17th, I'm, uh, I'm out there. Hey, but you know what? Look at that. Joe McNally's brand new tour. So Joe's, Joe's tour, he started it up again for us, and uh, he's going to be in San Jose with his One Flash, Two Flash seminar tour. If you've never seen Joe live, it, it will curve your spine. you got to go see it. Yeah. And, and, we are, uh, and then Corey's launching a tour. Corey's launching a tour based on his, all. his book. It's different stuff than the book. I think he does a couple things from the book, but Corey's just, he's one of the most amazing yeah. Photoshop people we've ever met. But we got to get Brian on because we got lots of cool stuff. All right. Back in a minute? Yeah, why not? Okay. Hey, Corey, we're going to that new pizza place across the street after work. You in? Yeah, I really wish I could, man. I'm under deadline with this book. I got to get it done. You're a machine, Corey. You're a machine! Well, you have no idea. step-by-step -step Photoshop tricks, type effects, extracting, textures, Hollywood effects, and really badass 3D. Photoshop Down and Dirty Tricks for Designers, Volume 2. Your mind will be composited away. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, eh? All right. Sorry. I had to make a quick call there. I had to... Oh, hey, good news. Look. We have hats. hats. Oh. We have hats. We have hats. But you know what we have that's better than hats? Brian Matias. Oh, hi. Dude. Welcome. Welcome. I don't feel like I haven't seen you in a day or so. It's been a week. We, we, both, we were both hanging out with Brian in Portland this week, me it's and true. Matt, on two separate trips. But uh, anyway, we're very glad to have you here. Thank you. It's... Uh, it's always nice to be here. I think this is my, my third time. This is your third appearance on the grid? Yeah. You know how few people make it to three times? I know. I'm thinking yeah. three is it, though. Three, yeah, that's it. Yeah, off. Dude, seriously. We got, we got one more giveaway we didn't, we didn't cover. Okay, one so, more giveaway. So, uh, so one of our sponsors was MPix Pro. <laughs> it was MPix, but we lost them. No, they're <laughs> but they were, So they were kind enough to, to, to say we could give away one of our prints. So they did. I brought, I brought out two because they, they did two of them. They did uh, one of the metal ones, which are really cool. That's beautiful. Um, it's kind of neat. I like it because it sits, I wonder if you can see, it kind of sits off of the wall. You see that back there? Yeah, it has some depth yeah. to it. Yeah. So it actually sits off of the wall. I think it looks pretty cool. But then um, they also gave us a, uh, a calorie, or a calorie. Did I just say calorie? Yeah. You didn't say calorie. <laughs> they gave us a calorie, a gallery wrap. So, uh, so basically... Enter whichever one you want to win, metal or uh, or gallery. Or gallery, yeah. yeah. So thank you to Mpix Pro, and uh, and if you're a Kelby One subscriber, they have a, a discount section, so they do all kinds of discounts. <laughs> Nicolzi writes in, uh, Brian Matias, better, better than a hat. 
<laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> But, you know, I know. <laughs> well, yeah. anyway. Hey, Brian, we're, we're, we're really glad to have you here because this is yes. like an important day, right? But, yeah. But what drives us crazy was, so we knew that Brian was going to be here. We've been playing this for a while. We knew that he was going to introduce a new update, mm -hmm. right, to something. Because someone's asking the question, when's is next that, So that question was like, Philip, that was timed beautifully. beautifully. Yeah. So we knew he was coming. We knew he was going to show something that we haven't even seen yet. So you've been kind of hoarding it. But, yeah. but you're going to show up for the first time. Today is like the yep. first time anyone's seen it. Yep. And it is a very significant upgrade to something that you guys already introduced. Yeah. Um, so today, uh, I really appreciate you giving us the opportunity to announce uh, a major update to the Nick collection, which is Analog Effects Pro 2. Boo! Boo! All right. So everybody stop. stop. Okay. Calm down. Go to the Easy. internet. This is go to the interwebs. Yeah. Yeah. And say, Brian is about to show a major update to analog effects. This is version two. Yep. You know, this is, it hasn't been out that long. No. For you to introduce Q4 of last two. year. Yeah, so last Q4. What to regular, to, to, to regular people who don't work at Google. Oh, yeah, what sorry. That That's like the October, November time there. frame. Um, <laughs> the thing was, it was, it the analog effects pro, the initial launch was bundled with uh, a lot of other uh, updates to the Google Photos experience. And so uh, it's not surprising if there were people who got the update and didn't even know that it was installed on their computers. So um, we wanted to really give Analog Effects Pro 2 its due because it's an awesome app. Um, and to the question, if we can go to it, yeah. where, so it's Philip John Baselby? Baselby? Baselby. Baselby. Uh, I like that name. Could be. Um, oh, it's nice. Say it like this. Philip so, John Baselby. Uh -huh. um, oh, Alan. Thank you. Alan Hess, our friend. Yeah, I see? love Analog Effects Pro. The question that Philip asked is, is Nick dead? So first, before I do anything else, um, if we can jump over to my computer. Okay, cool. So is Nick dead? Let's, let's, let's just answer that for, you know, once and for all. So no. This is that. <laughs> this is taken at a funeral. <laughs> yeah, exactly. These are all dead people. Um, this is very much Sixth Sense-ish. Um, but no, this, these, this is the Nick team. This is the, the same group of hardworking engineers and support people and QA people who have built the Nick collection, you know, with the modules that you love, like Color Effects Pro and Silver Effects Pro, and they built Analog Effects Pro. So um, I wanted to take a moment just to kind of say, you know, give these guys kind of like a big virtual high five. Uh, this is them at their, our home office in Lübeck, Germany. Um, and they work Wait a really minute. hard. Google is based in Lubeck, Germany? Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, Mountain View is actually just kind of like, you know. It's like a satellite. This yeah, is, yeah, it's this, very this is small. freaking me out. Yeah. I've been to your satellite office. It's very large. It's, it's, I know. So imagine Lubeck. Oh, I mean, it's gosh. gigantic. But I, I, just jump back super quickly. I also want to just zoom in. So this right here, that's Nils Kokomor. So Nick, N I K, that's actually Nils, is, that's his brainchild. That's, yeah, so, I met him. Many years ago at a trade show in Orlando, because he and I had corresponded back and forth and yep. stuff, and he was making Photoshop actions. I think that's how we got into all this. Mm -hmm. And he had these things called Nils Actions, and then it was Nils Software, and then he couldn't use the word Nils for some reason, which had to be for, since it was his name, he was probably kind of cranked. Uh, and it became Nick. Nick. So there you go. It was so close, nobody noticed the change. So actually, I believe that the engineers in Germany are watching this broadcast, and it's pretty late over there. So guys, thank you, guys and gals. You guys do an awesome job. Yeah, you guys do an awesome job. So, um, so should we just jump in here? Dude, let's jump. I want to see it. All right, so I'm going to go into just a few quick demos, because I know we have fun stuff to talk about as well. But um, let's start with a photo of my sister, actually. Um, so this is my sister, Greta. I love her. She's a beautiful gal. And she was nice enough to pose for me back in our hometown of Brooklyn. Um, and I feel- You and her related? Yeah. Same <laughs> like parents and everything. Like I, was, I wasn't adopted really? or anything. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Did you have a tragic accident at some point? Like I, a you know, horrific I must have, car crash? I, 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 it must have been one of those where I was sleeping <laughs> and Acid was spilled. Something. Something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Acid yeah. spill. That but it was like the painless acid. Like I didn't know. Um, <laughs> that painless so, acid so popular. Um, so here. Let's just start with just a basic example of Analog Effects Pro. Uh, so what I'm going to do, straight, this is pretty much straight out of camera. I'm going to right click, go to edit in, and then just go to Analog Effects Pro 2. Uh, and we'll edit. So 
what we uh, did when we built Analog Effects Pro was we wanted to kind of pay tribute and kind of a homage to the classical and alternative uh, styles of processing from film. And if you want, like I hear this a lot, like, oh, it must just be like, you know, Visco or, An or Instagram. If you want to look at it that way, in a way you can make it that because we have these really awesome presets here. You know, we have presets that are broken down by cameras. So the type of style you want or the effect you want to apply is here. So, you know, we can go ahead and just apply, say, any old preset. And you have over here just different filters. So every camera preset is comprised of filters. My point is that if you want, you can easily just select one preset and uh, there you go. Uh, you have all your effects, but you can also go ahead and refine and choose exactly what you want applied to your image. So I'm gonna go back to this preset here and I'm gonna go and just change around some basics. I'm gonna drop the saturation a bit. You have all these controls, your standard BCS controls, um, but let's say you wanna go ahead and add, say, a light leak. So you go ahead to this camera kit and let's just add a light leak. And then we have these really awesome light leaks. Now the difference ah, is- Isn't that funny? I try to, uh, it's, it's always funny to see the trends because I know that, that like that's a popular trend. It's like, like I'm always trying to avoid that in a photo. Is light and now leak, but it's like- it, it, I mean, it looks cool on a lot of photos too. Yep. Yeah, but what we also want to do is add, when people think of Nick, they're thinking about a little bit more power. So a lot of times when you add an effect, you have, um, it's just basically stock. You set it and forget it. But here you have the ability to kind of control the positioning of it. You can use control points, which I'll show another uh, demonstration here. But we that was actually a, a really big thing. When we announced AEP1, um, one of the first things that people were asking for were control points because it wasn't in the first version. So not only are our engineers not dead, but we're actively listening to the users. We want feedback. So we listen to it and then we build it in uh, where it makes sense. So uh, this is just a quick before and after. So you can see right here, before and after. So that's basically uh, at, at a very, very high level what AEP2, Analog Effects Pro 2 can do. But let's go into, let's dive into some more uh, just kind of creative stuff. Yeah. Hey, can why you save why that stuff as a preset? Oh, thank you. Um, Yes, you can. Thank you for that question. You actually can. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Hey, while you're diving into this, we got a couple of comments coming in. Yeah. Uh, number one, uh, nice comment about your sister from David. Uh, <laughs> Dave. 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 Yeah, oh, yeah. He says uh, she's better than a hat. Well, so that's is. that's that is it. So uh, no, but somebody asks. No, but first, Alan Hess has got a good comment. He says the real power is in the camera kit. Mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, this is a big one. So John Swartz, hi John, uh, asks, is the upgrade available when the program opens or John. do we have to, what he hasn't asked is do we have to buy it because traditionally upgrades cost money. Yes. So uh, to answer that, no, a Analog Effects Pro 2, if you have the Nick collection, it is absolutely free to you. It does not cost anything. Hey. Uh, Here's nice. to free. Here's to free. Uh, free updates. We, you know what? We uh, we thought about it long and hard, and we really want people to enjoy it. We the engineers did a lot to build some cool features, and uh, what better way than to give it to the existing customers for free? If you're not a Nick customer yet, it's 149. So a big drop in price from what it used to cost. Yeah. But that gets everything for, for, for analog for, effects or for the whole thing. For the whole thing. Yeah, all seven everything. modules. All seven yep. modules. Color so effects. Color HDR, effects. Silver. HDR. Um, so. Uh, yeah, just go, you can go to uh, google.com slash the Nick collection or google.com slash Nick collection and just download the trial. If you have the, the uh, collection installed already, it's, it'll remove the trial limitations so you don't have to do anything. Um, so let's jump in super quickly into this image here. So another one, this is pretty much straight out of camera. The only edit that was made. Oh, did you want to say something? Sorry. Notice the word pretty much. Yeah, so I was gonna, I was gonna qualify. <laughs> I'm gonna qualify. That's twice now. It's pretty much straight out of camera. No, the first one, that one of my sister was totally straight out of camera. Oh, okay. This one is uh, the only thing that happened was, uh, and I showed it to Matt earlier in his office. Uh, I downloaded it from my Google Photos section of Google Plus, and it had auto enhance turned on, uh, applied to it. So the only edits here were the ones that auto enhance applied, and the original was actually way worse. I mean, it did a really nice job of bringing out shadows. Yeah, it was dark. You almost couldn't, you, you could couldn't barely tell. see a lot of it. So let's go ahead and again with this one. 
Analog Effects Pro 2, I'm not even, you know, there are things you can do in Lightroom before, and absolutely, I love Lightroom, I live by it. So um, what we're gonna do is, I usually always start in, oh, that didn't maximize, in the classic camera uh, kind of preset section. I, I like this area here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one, number five. Uh, I like what it does. Now, the only other thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go here, and this is where uh, Alan just said the real power is. This is this camera kit. Uh, the camera kit exposes all of the existing uh, filters that the preset you just selected use, um, but it also has all the other ones that, so if you wanna add on top of it. So what I'm gonna do is add this new filter called double exposure. Now, just right off the bat, it's, it's actually pretty cool. It, you can see it kind of is giving this uh, yeah. almost like astral explosion thing in the background. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna switch over to uh, the actual motion control. So not only are we overlaying the image on top of itself, I'm not actually gonna use that for this image. I'm just gonna use this motion blur component. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take the rotate strength and I'm gonna bring it all the way to 360. And so you can see now that you're getting this kind of swirl. And if I go ahead and I make this a little bit larger and put it kind of right around here and I bring out the exposure towards you can control the balance, so basically to the left, you're controlling the balance of the two exposures. So the second exposure has the motion blur applied to it. You get this yeah. really, really cool effect. It's almost the, it's almost like the star trail. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I didn't go, if I went all the way to the right, um, you can get more of that. Um, so you almost look, it almost looks like there's something exploding over here and it's sending uh, stars. So it's just a, a really awesome thing. Uh, and the reason why I'm showing this particular demo is because uh, it's to address all the people who are like, oh, it's just another instance, it's just a set and forget, you just click a preset and that's all you have to do. There's actually a lot of cool little things that you can do to this uh, using this product. Can I say something? Of course. I think that clicking on presets is a good thing. I was just going to say, I, I, I swear to that I was going to say the same what? thing. Like, who says that and why? Yeah, because you know what? Because it sounds like you hear it a lot, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, I love to be able, I love to be able to, so like, like I, I use a Silver Frex Pro 2 for all my black and white. Mm -hmm. I don't ever touch anything on the no. right side. I look at the presets, I click on the one I want, and I'm done. Yep. That makes me happy. Now, I know that there are people that would want to dig in further. Sure. But honestly, 99% of the time, I don't think I ever, I, I might even say 100% of the time, I don't, well, 99% of the time, I don't touch yep. the sliders on the right side. So yep. I'm, I'm all about. But, so what, are they, what? what do it's they be, say? It's because they make great presets. Your presets are yeah. really great. The, the engineers and whoever programs those presets do an excellent job. They do such a good job that I don't feel like I need to go to the right yeah. side. But, but if you want to, it's there. That's kind of the point um, is if you want to explore, um, it's there for you. Uh, and, and, I really love, there are, are so many kind of little happy accidents I found just by playing around when I, as the engineers were building the betas and give, delivering them to us, you know, you just want to play around. And, and there's some cool little effects. This was one of them where I was like, whoa, that's actually kind of cool, especially if you just kind of bring it back a bit. It has a really kind of nifty looking effect. It's one of those things I would expect to see on like 500 picks or something, just like a really stylized star shot. Um, and so we could just do, let's just do one more. Um, uh, example here, and this is one, I took this actually from my hotel room, the Google Tokyo office is literally camera left, like just to the left of the outside of the frame, um, and this is the Tokyo Tower, which looks freakishly like the Eiffel. <laughs> it does, every time I see that I'm like, just a little. That doesn't look like Paris, but the Eiffel Tower. Is yeah, there. no, that's uh, quite a few more uh, citizens roaming around this area over here than in Paris, I think. Um, so what I wanted to show is a more traditional use of that double exposure filter, something that you can do. Um, one of the, uh, I guess, goals that we had with Analog Effects Pro 2 is not only being able to let you stylize your image in a single frame and just deliver it and share it, we also wanted to give people an opportunity to change the way they think about how they present their image. So the first example here, let's, again, I, this is kind of my workflow. I go here, I'll select a a preset, and uh, if, you know, with a full t uh, workflow tutorial, which we have actually a bunch of awesome videos on our YouTube channel, um, you can learn more about these little changes that you can make on the image. But if I go back to the camera kit over here, and I select, again, double exposure, 
<clears throat> and just to quickly address, if you want to add your own like secondary frame, you can do that. You can choose uh, your own separate image to overlay. But in this case here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that zoom strength and watch as I drag along, and this always causes <clears throat> a little bit of delay initially. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. All right, so watch. I can adjust the kind of scale factor. Let me bring that zoom strength down a bit and drop that. And what you're getting is this kind of like retro look, kind of like one of those kind of 70s film yeah. looks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the dirt and scratches because I don't care for that on this image. But you, you, that's what I'm trying to, uh, if there's one thing that I want to showcase about this product, it has some amazing presets. It does some really cool things in terms of changing the look of your image, but it also gives you an opportunity to really easily um, add a whole new dynamic that isn't commonly used. And I think double exposure, double exposure is one of those things, you know, I don't know if anyone said it yet, but um, it is uh, the thing that people are starting to do. That is like a new trend. You're starting to see a lot of it. You have it in like, Canon has it built right into their cameras. Yeah, I right. think Sony, you can download an app on their camera to do it. Nikon can do it. Yeah. Nikon can do it too. Yeah, yeah. so. Uh, Not on every camera, but I mean, the, the, you know, like on, I think on any of those, there's on the particular make and model yeah. you have. Yeah, and so you could you have it right there. Um, you see it a lot with the moon. Right? Yeah, people do it a lot. They'll like superimpose the moon somewhere. Right, because you it's it's you're not going to be able to like just in likely you see in your shot. Chances are the moon is just going to show as a white dot, a yeah. circle like a golf ball in the sky yeah. with no detail. So yeah. to get to capture the detail, you have to do either which we used to do in the film days is take the shot. Scroll back, go back one frame, and then yeah. and then reposition and reshoot the moon. Or, um, so do you have a moon, do you have a moon photo you could stick in there? I don't. I do. You do? Yeah. Ooh, I shot the our, moon with one you. One of our camera guys Portland. back here has a killer one. Uh, you got a shot a shot of the moon? Oh, the yeah. day after. No, with you in the oh, parking lot at the oh the at thing. the the uh, Crown Point thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it was that thing in the sky. I round. I need a JPEG over here to do it. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, you're out of luck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, so the last I can't transfer a JPEG. It's too hard. Hey, I, one of Arnaldo has a killer moon shot. Does he? He does. I'd actually like to see it on there. It'd can you cold. get us we'll the see, moon? Maybe see if we can see it at a break. We can, can you put it on a USB or something? Yeah. 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 Let's do. Let's do kind of like a live chat. Hey, if you're wondering who's Arnaldo, we we ask ourselves the same question he's all the time. He's walking away. Now he's one of our cameramen. He edits and does all kinds of great stuff around here. We so, super dig him. Hey. Uh, so nice. So freaking Brian Matias. Yeah. There's a question from Jock. Goodman. So Hi, Jock. He's from Hawaii. He says, Brian, that's you. Uh huh. Uh, if I buy Nick for 150, can I install on both my Mac and my PC? That's a great question. The answer is yes. Um, <laughs> no, I thought you were going to go. I don't I know. I thought you were going to go. I'll have yeah. to find out. <laughs> no, you absolutely you can. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you purchase it, you'll get a uh, an email with a download link for Mac, Mac and, and PC, PC, and go ahead and install it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there are no um, license codes per se anymore. Yeah, very good. So basically, I can just. Give it away to everybody. And no, not like well, that. Well, you just you just incriminated I, yourself. The trial, <laughs> the trial. Is so, so if there's any sort of of piracy you, of the Nick collection from now from. on, we now know where. No, that's cool though. So you, you don't even have to worry about it. You no. Get, no cool. it, hey, can we get a, a link to your YouTube channel? Tom's asking. Oh, uh, that's a good for question. A link to your YouTube um, channel. You know what? I will. Let me see here. He doesn't know it. No, it's not that. Is I'm always scared to. I'm going to go to quickly to my. Let me help you. YouTube.com. No, no, no. It starts yeah, with YouTube. Yeah, because like you never know what you have installed here that shouldn't be ready yet. Google owns Nick it. I didn't know if you knew that. Yeah, Google bought them. Let me see if this is it. Ah, yes, sweet. So it's <laughs> youtube.com slash Nick Photography. There you go. Hey, you know what it's time for? Break. Oh. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about stuff. We're going to talk about, I, I know we a lot of our viewers have questions just about just Nick in general. Sure. I think it was great that we were able to see this, the, the team in Germany, right? That was really cool. Yeah, we're really and, uh, and I think that when someone asks that question, is Nick dead on the day that they're introducing new software? Yeah. Might not. I, mean, I think this kind of tells you. Uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, we want to pick your brain a little bit sure. on, on the, all that stuff because I know a lot of people, you know what it was? There was a lot of love for the Nick stuff. I know. And so I think there was a lot of concern that, you know, once they get bought by a giant company that there won't be any new stuff. But of course, Obviously, this is the second thing, right? This is the second iteration. This but is, yeah, 80, there's Air Analog FX Pro, the initial one, which is a brand new module, um, however which way you slice it. And yeah. then there was a f major, major iteration. 
So Now, I know that you can't talk about unreleased plugins, but when we get back, we're going to ask you about unreleased plugins. So don't go away. <laughs> we'll be right back here live on The Grid. I really believe that your photography is a reflection of who you are. I consider myself a very fun guy, very fashionable guy, very passionate. That's pretty much what I'm after when it comes to my photography. You can be recognised for a particular style, but at the same time, I almost want to fool my audience into you know, showing something that you just wouldn't expect. If we're talking about a bride, I want her to look and feel amazing. In my posing class, you're going to learn a lot of things. How to pose a bride and bring out the best in her shape and her curves. You had a photograph a groom because many of us who may focus on the bride will ignore the groom. Also how to photograph a couple together. And getting your clients to mirror you. Mirroring I find is the best way of getting people to pose. I'm Jerry Guionis. Check out my class on the fine art of posing at kelbytraining.com. I'm sending myself a picture I'm going to show you, but it's on my phone. I have to show it. Hold on. Okay. But before we start up, with, can I show you this? So I'm walking by Amy McCormick's office, and I'm going to send this email to myself so I can show you. Walking by her office a few minutes ago on my way to the set, because her office is in the same building that our set is, because, I don't know, it just is. Hold on. So Mia, I look inside her office, I'm talking to her, and I look and I see what you might consider to be a very large tripod. Large, bigger than her. Pete, can you kind of bring it on the set here? Just gigando. <laughs> That's a big tripod. Go. Is this Shaq's tripod? Is this? Is this? Is this, is this, this is what Shaq uses. But I, I have a picture. I'm going to show you here. Just, just ten seconds here. Is that just for reference, I'm six three and a half. So this is about six two. Dude, is that you, hey, at the you top may of have been it? six that in, when you were like a kid when you were like nineteen, but at now you're like it? you're yeah, old. It's got the extra little Bling. Nobules. Nobules. Hold on a wow. second. Bling. Let me find this. It looks blingy. The little chrome Why stuff can't on the top. Find yeah. this graphic. Caught my eye. Oh, there it that's, is. There. That's what bling's <laughs> supposed to do. That, yeah, it's blingy. It's, it's the whole purpose. Where's my Where's my thing? I just sent it to me. Hold on. Okay, here we go. One second. Anyway, I'll have information on it in just one second, but I got to open this with Photoshop. If only Google had a way that if you had a picture on your phone that it was on your computer yeah. and so in your here's a, here's a picture taken with my iPhone. It, it, Mia took this. That's how big this tripod is. Like, I, it's from, it is from, let's see, because she sent it. It's 70 inches Good. tall. It is uh, from Icon Corp. So it's I K A N Corp. Uh, and it's it the, the tripod line is called E Image. So it's a capital E dash image. And uh, I don't, is it just me or is that a big tripod? It's just you. Okay. It's, you know what, dude? We're if you weren't four this? seven. No, we're not going to go. If you weren't four foot seven, you, you'd be I good. Know. Hey, we hey. got a comment. Also, see that? Can you go back to that picture real quick? See that that bag I'm holding in my hand? This is just coincidence. That bag's from Think Tank. It's the laptop bag that I I, I use now. I I, I want to show it in the grid. Artificial intelligence, I, I think it is. Is that it? No, no, no. Oh, wait, maybe is it? I, don't I know. think it's a There's thing. some brand placement it's going really on thin. here. It's really thin. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't mean it to. It was total. I was just. It was in my hand when I came in. I'm talking to Mia. See the print on her wall. That's from MPix. Is it from MPix? Can we pimp anything else? That's an Ellen Chrome softbox we're using for a for a uh, meeting room light behind us. That's an Ellen Chrome strip bank. And the uh, the the dishwasher off in the kitchen in the back right corner it's is LG. from Sears. And that is a IKEA desk right there too. All right, we're back. Hey, um, hey, look. Hey, we got a comment. So uh, so this one's from Sven. I take it Sven is Sven. on the team in, yeah. in Germany. Yeah. So Sven says, cheers from the team in Germany. Actually totally alive and watching the show. Yep. And Hi, Sven. What's going on, Sven? Sven did an awesome job of just kind of helping wrangle cats on this one. So. All right. So let's, let's hold this question for a second because uh -huh. I think this is a good question to, to kind of launch off into another topic. You, were, you got sure. that. Were, are you able to do anything with that, that moon? I'm literally doing them um, right now. Oh, wait. There are like 500 files. Oh, moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go for the one called, called moon? moon. I don't know. It's kind of cryptic. It's kind Sailor of Sailor Moon. All right, let's see here. We talked about Sailor Moon the other day. Um, all right, so I'm going to try this. But we can. Do you want to do this live? Okay. So no, no, let's, maybe let's do it dead. dead. 
Yeah, yeah. like the, the Nick team. Are they dead? <laughs> huh? So, so it's funny, because I, I normally like wondered why anybody would want a tripod that big. And Ryan, or Brian, what's wrong with me today? Brian has a killer shot. We were out in Thor, at Thor's well. Oh, off I of wonder the, if uh, I can, Oregon coast yeah, last week. And Brian that. has a killer shot. And dude, he because he's got one of those tall tripods. Oh yeah. And it's yeah, I mean, it, like I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, it'd be cool to have because he's really up high with it. Like he's just using live view to position the camera. But yeah, I'm gonna that's uh Oh, okay. That was a Do you have that picture? I'm looking for it right now. And I'm gonna do that live thing. I, I, oh, here we go. So this is the a shot of this is a uh, dude the look water at that just coming at me. Uh, I think there's a higher one. Oh, there's Matt right there at, with his uh, killed ankle. Yeah. This I is Thor's well. Uh, but no, I, I, I thought I had. Yeah, my tripod is about as high as that, and it is a godsend because um, you, th with Thor's well, one, you want to get as close as possible, but you also want to get as high as possible. And, you know, that helps. Yeah. And with n all these new cameras have articulating screens. And so you can kind of, I was able to get it high. If it was my Canon, I'd have to be on my, you know, tippy toes. Here I had the screen pointed down, everything was, was and the same thing yesterday when we were at the beach, it was down at the ground and I had the screen pointed up, yeah. tilted up. I don't have to, it's a, on your knees, it's so much better. Can you show that picture? Do you have a picture you got at the beach yesterday? Oh yeah. yeah that's so, a great shot. Oh yeah, so they went to the beach right here in town. I Nothing nothing makes you angrier than when <laughs> someone gets a great shot in your own hometown, you're like, where was this? Where? <laughs> you know what was weird? I th we uh, Our family was at this beach the other day. We went there the other night for sunset. Uh, do I, I do, didn't see this. Do I do two or five? We took the kids out there. Five Go to five. five. All right. Yeah. Control room two. Control room two. Okay. That makes it sound like we have a whole bunch of control rooms. It's Ooh, control room fourteen. Control cool. rooms everywhere. Oh, look control at this. Control room what? Oh, you gotta don't, you know do it live. Do it live. We'll do it live. I don't know. How, you're gonna have to cover that other one. No, I'm gonna. There, it's I canceled out. I'll no, start okay. it. I could start it fresh. No, I was wondering if you're gonna have to cover the other moon. I will. I, I would have to, but it, that's one of those things where, watch, I could probably well, check this well, out. Well, don't show me. We're going to show them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, you don't want to just see this? No, Matt's still... Oh, here's Matt's thing. Look at All Matt's... Right. Look at this. This is in our own hometown. Yeah. Seriously, dude. We're... That's no. a gorgeous shot. Matt was we like... We got lucky. Yeah. He's we like, got, do you want the 1635 or the 2470? And he really... He pressured me to take the 24 I was like, do you want the 16, do you want the 16 to 35 or the 20, 24, 24 to 70? <laughs> and handed him the 24 and to I 70. And I handed him the 24 to 70 and I took the 16. That's a beautiful dude, shot. Dude, we got, we beautiful lucked shot. out because yep. the sky wasn't, it was like looking like it could be, it could be really bad. Mm -hmm. Dude, is your horizon line crooked? No. Are you sure? You know, I'm positive. Matt, mine was crooked too, remember? That looks crooked. I don't know. It might be a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Are we doing but, uh, like a silent here, critique? Here, right? Let me show you one more, and then I got to tell you right. the, the quick story. This? Tell you the so so see the color in that? Yeah. Like seriously, other than opening up the shadows, I, I mean, we didn't have to touch these photos. So it, we're standing there, and all of a sudden, like I'm looking at Brian, and we're looking and like, dude, it is red out. Like it's literally like yeah. just everything. Well, looks you can see red. that. You can absolutely see that sky a lot here in Florida. But uh, but we got lucky because the sky was looking kind of blah, and we just decided to go out there, and the sky yeah. looked good, and then the 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 tie it was low tide, because all that stuff would have been hey, underwater. Can we go back a couple? Of, I want to critique your photos. Okay, sure. So, Do you really, see this so, blue? All right. So not that one. The one before this one. No, gosh, not that one. The that good one. one. All right. So here's the thing. You need to sell your gear. <laughs> Whatever you got, just sell it, that, dude. You yeah. can't. Tired of repetitive beach photos. Oh, God, look how beautiful it is. No, seriously. All and all joking aside, these are beautiful. Very, very nicely done. And, and yeah. the fact that it's in my own hometown just makes me want to spit. Because we were, I'm serious, I kid not, we took the kids to, to, to Sunset. Now, our Sunset was nothing like that. Yeah, it's... We were just there on a regular day, but it was beautiful. Because this particular, we're here in Florida, like it's hot, it's like you're burning, you know, you walk outside. Yeah, but it's hot. this particular beach, Honeymoon Island, mm -hmm. Honeymoon Island gets a crosswind the entire time. You can go there in the middle of July, and in Clearwater yeah. Beach, you can see Clearwater Beach around the corner. Everyone there is dying from the heat. <laughs> you go to Honeymoon Island. Was it breezy when you were there? Yeah. It's yeah. always yeah, it breezy. Nice. It's like a place in Florida where it is a gorgeous beach, and it's nice and breezy. Yeah. And so we just took kids there, and it was like And there was awesome. an epic thunderstorm coming in. Like, yeah, off, this off, crazy, off the one you know, side. The lightning going sideways and down. Ooh. I found that. We, we, did a, we did our Photoshop World video shoot. Like part of the keynote shoot, yeah, we did it there. I'd never known that place existed because I'd been to Honeymoon Time, Honeymoon Island, a hundred times, and uh, and it was just kind of stumbling on the that little area there. Well, guess what? You'll see me it there worked. shortly with Matt showing, pointing me. Put your tripod here. 
<laughs> use these settings. All right. So, uh, so Brian, yeah. we, we're going to see the double exposure thing used. Yep. We, we got Arnaldo was nice enough to give us uh, a USB with his moonshot. Yep. Thank you for that. So let's, uh, let's, I'm going to do this because Scott kind of made a quick comment. He's like, well, you're going to have to kind of cover the moon. And so what we can actually do is just use the quick, just boom, no more moon. Um, and that's fine. We don't really need that moon in here. Yeah, we probably don't need multiple moons. Yeah, no, exactly. That moon, <laughs> I think yeah. if you go with the moon, you go with one. It's we could just... do one of those phase of the moon things. But uh, let's go again, and we'll just quickly send this to analog effects. Um, and this gives me an opportunity to show you how you can actually use a secondary image as a double exposure. So I'm going to go ahead here. And I, actually, we're not going to stylize. I was mentioning earlier how you can just build your own whatever you want here. Right. So if I go here and instead of going to any of these uh, cameras or the camera kit, I'm just going to go to double exposure. And essentially all you have here is double exposure. If you don't want to do anything else or if you want to build from scratch, right. you just start from one and then you add others. You know what? You know what that effect right there that's right on there right now would look good for? What's that? Wedding reception shot. Totally. Drop a wedding yeah. reception shot in there and get that motion of everybody dancing. Boom. Boom, done. There you go. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Actually, yeah, I could totally pick like the, the- Well, I would, just, <laughs> I would do, that, I'd, I'd do that in camera. You, you'll yep. pick a little longer exposure and turn the yep. lens and all, or you just streak. launch that plugin, yeah. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and press the plus over here, just a little plus sign there, and select the moon shot, which I copied off of the thumb drive right here. Hit open, and here we go. Dude, that's dude. a good moon shot. <laughs> it's gigantic. Is it, where's Arnold? Dude, I actually, I think just, it works right there. Dude, what did you shoot that with? What lens? Canon 600. A Canon 600? Dude, where'd you get a 600? Dude, you know what he makes? Dude, it must be a <laughs> lot. A, a 600? He has four. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, we're paying him too much. You can control the balance, you know, so if you don't want it as much. You can want you make the moon just a tad bit smaller? Like, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's in the buildings, it, it's not as... You, you know, want it gigantic? Just Actually, a tad bit. Like, you know what? This is, I think, as small as... A, yeah, exposure scale, 100%. Uh, so you just have to make sure you resize a little bit before you... He's got too big a moon. Your yeah, moon is too huge, big. Actually, yeah, so in theory, if, uh, if, we, if we go ahead here... <laughs> okay, Pete just made a Uranus joke. Yeah, That's they always come from Pete. Let's go ahead here right, and say. let's just uh, go percentage and 50%. Okay. Resizing it? Yeah, just the nice thing about the, um, the double exposure is you just select it, you know, cr uh, you'll click that X uh, and then reapply it. And so actually that didn't do much of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice job on that. Nice job on that resize, Brian. You're nailing it, dude. You know what? You're in the zone. Hey, you know what? It's still cool and totally believable. But you know what? I can, uh, <laughs> it actually blends in pretty well, too. So. All right. Hey, we got, let's get to some questions here. We haven't sure. really got to the grilling part yet, and I think it's time. Uh, first, before we do that, I want to read a comment uh, from Effie from Turkey. Anyone that writes a comment like this, by the way, their comment will be read on yeah. the air. So it's, it's Effie. He says, uh, uh, I use the Kelby One membership. It is the best. Thanks for all. I learned much stuff. So uh, you're, thank you very much. Very kind comments. And uh, hey, you know, uh, uh, he's from Turkey, which is awesome. And uh, hey, though, our prayers are, are with uh, everybody in Turkey today. They had a horrible, horrible tragedy, uh, fire in a mine over there. And, yeah. and, and they lost hundreds of lives. And it's just, you know, uh, anyway, but uh, thanks for the kind words. And uh, our prayers are with you. All right, Brian, so let's talk about Google and all this other stuff. Sure. So I, I think we did cover the one thing I think that's been ever, on everybody's mind mm -hmm. uh, is because you're creating new, I mean, you have a team in place and you're creating amazing new software. Mm -hmm. um, what about the other stuff? So we're still on like Silver Effects 2, which I will say, do you know a single pro that's really doing black and white that's not using Silver Effects Pro? Everybody's bailed on just doing it in Photoshop. Or I could poke fun at some people, but I won't. But I mean, most I know. Yeah, no, uh, nobody, I mean, nobody's doing the nobody's doing the Lightroom Photoshop conversions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone's using Silver Effects Pro. Uh, I know that uh, it's been a it's been a while since some of these things. I'm waiting for Nick Color Effects Pro Five, mm -hmm. but I want you to go back and get the tonal contrast from Nick <laughs> Color three. Effects Three. So something happened. I don't know what it was, but Matt and I noticed this. We caught it right when there was a transition between Nick Color Effects Three and Nick Color Effects Four. And there, somebody changed the math for how the tonal contrast works. 
Admittedly, and, too. Like we, yeah, we, we, asked we them called about them and it. said, hey, what happened? And it was really great, and now it's not as great. And they were like, yeah, it was. First, they said nothing changed. And then they said, <laughs> wait, we checked, and yeah, something changed. It did change. Now, what's interesting is, you know, we, had, we were talking about Regina Pagels on the show a few weeks ago. And when I'm talking to Regina and she's talking about her thing, and she goes, well, one of my secrets is Nick Color FX Pro tonal conversion. And I said, oh, well, I try it. And I'm like, it doesn't look the same. She goes, oh, I'm using version three. Yeah, that was surprising. Well, and she says, if I had to point to anything as my secret, it's that. Yeah. And I'm like... Well, the engineers are listening. How do I get <laughs> how do I get back to the look of three? I'll tell you what, Nick, you want to make a lot of people happy? Just make a plug-in that is just the tonal contrast from three. No, two things, just two things. The tonal contrast from three and brightness and warmth. From brilliance three. and warmth. Oh, brilliance brilliance and, warmth. and warmth from three. Bundle those two as here's Wait, that that's stuff you missed. Did that change from three to four? It changed. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's different. I don't know. I don't know what they did math wise. Yeah. But I would pay for that. I would pay for those. I'd buy them separately. Niels, you're, you're listening, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm telling you what. Hey, there Sven's was, listening too. Let's get Sven, Sven in. On this. Oh, Sven, you got to help us out. Sven's on it. It'll All right, there Sven, was something please. about the quality. Sleep, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> there, there was something about the quality of that tonal contrast in three that was magical. And it's so magical that Regina Pagels is still using it. So I'm like searching the web trying to find it. Like, where's a copy of the old three? Someone's got it somewhere. A, an RC who has everything. RC is like a repository of knowledge. Didn't have it. So we're host. But, well, but maybe, so we can, maybe we can make something happen. So we'll I, see. I do think that that's great. That, that, but when's, when are we going to see like any of these like silver effects? Three, I know you can't really answer this, right? You can't actually say October 3rd. But yeah. are we working on this stuff? That's How what he that? told me at lunch. Yeah, October yeah, 3rd? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, no, actually, no. no. <laughs> Ever since I started at, at Google, I've become masterful at saying, that's really great feedback. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, we don't really comment on unreleased strategy or products yet. Do you know Tom Hogarty? From He's Adobe. From Adobe? Like, yeah. He's the master of that. He's, yes. Yeah. You and Tom, you got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I really appreciate the enthusiasm. Trust me, you know, your, our users are really important to us, and this feedback is great. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so. Um, and then you say. <laughs> and then I say, trust me, I. I, I can confirm that. No, I've. So, so just, <laughs> yeah. Sven says, Sven from Germany says, I can confirm Nils is listening. Yeah, so. Um, Nils, come on. Yeah. I won't go into any details. Um, I will say that Analog Effect Pro 2, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was not the last thing you saw from the Nick collection. Dude, by the way, you could talk freely because Nils is not listening. Oh, yeah, no. Don't oh, listen yeah. to Sven. Yeah, he was yeah. just joking. Sven, yeah. It said smiley face at the end. Oh, so Nobody's smiley, listening. Oh, I didn't see the smiley yeah, face. Nobody's that listening was, from Google, Nick. I, Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're among friends here. Tell us oh, what's going on. And this won't, this won't go anywhere. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Between us. I can keep this between us. This is just a... <laughs> Three guys um, talking. No, we we want to continue building amazing things. We have John Knack, who is just like product manager to the stars from, you know, long time yeah, Photoshop. Now, yeah, he came from Adobe. You yeah. know, when I first met John, he was the Photoshop product manager. Yeah. One of the smartest guys. John is just an amazing, amazingly, a very cool guy, but a very, very smart guy. He's now at Google. Yep. Yeah, he's working, um, heralding our efforts for our photo, you know, ex Google Photos experience. Uh, on so you editing. can't really say what he's doing? Not at all. Oh, my. <laughs> that was like on Google the Photo <laughs> experience. He's doing something at Google. I uh, see my buddy Mike Wysak is, uh, if you slip up, the chip in your neck will explode in three seconds. Mike is a fellow Googler, and Mike fully appreciates. <laughs> so, so, so you could, because you always mention Google Photos and then the mm -hmm, Nick. Mm -hmm. So, are Go is the Nick team on Google Photos, or is that a whole separate team? Because uh, there's the Google Plus team, which is separate from the Google Photos team. Yeah. So, I mean, Google Plus. You know, we have a bunch of different teams. There, there's a team that does Hangouts. There's a team that's focused yeah. on the stream itself. Cool. What do you do? Uh, I am the global evangelist for all of our photos products. So I'm, we, we have a release here, and I'm here to discuss so that. Nick, so Nick plugins are a photos product. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So they do fall under can you, your... Can you actually yeah. address Matt and I as senator? In sure. Your, in your answers. Uh, congressman, yes. Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, 
but uh, to answer the question, so you know, we have you can kind of look at it as two kind of bubbles. You've got the Google Photos experience, which is um, everything from auto backing up photos from your phone or your camera, or, you know, from your computer, uh, and then editing them using the web editor, which technologies were built directly from our good engineers at NIC. We have, uh, we announced uh, raw capabilities uh, in Google Plus a couple months ago, which was uh, raw technologies that NIC was building, which are actually freaking awesome. I'm not just saying that. I'm. We're at the office and we're doing A-B tests. We're the most critical people. We do not want our photos to be messed up. And so we're looking at you know DC RAW and other RAW processors and the NIC processor and it looks awesome. So when people are wondering whether NIC is dead or are they not doing anything or what has Google done with NIC, and you look at all these things, maybe it's not branded as NIC collection, but rest assured that the kind of uh, spirit and the uh, hard work of the NIC engineers uh, permeates through a bunch of different things uh, on Google Plus, uh, Google Photos, and uh, with NIC and with Snapseed. So, so what was your role in the Benghazi cover-up? <laughs> What's a Benghazi cover-up? It's a plug-in from NIC. What? <laughs> no, just, sorry, it's a that was just a stupid joke there, you know. I was trying I wanted to kind of play off of it, but I really had no idea, so I didn't I yeah, didn't ben, want to go down Ben Ghazi that is uh, there's a Google office there, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> hey, so somebody asked a question. So they said, Will Google ever extend their plugin magic to video? Um well, we kind of do. We have uh, auto awesome movies, which is on certain Android devices if you record uh, some video clips, there is kind of a um, an editing front end on those devices. Um, so like the uh, Moto X and the Nexus 5 and stuff like that. It's not on iOS currently or on other Android devices that aren't supported. But the long story short, there are some, There is we have video capabilities. If you're asking about the NIC plugins, like a NIC video editing thing, not, no comment, feedback received. Feedback welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to do our giveaways. And uh, we got a couple more questions. I, I want to, I really want to get our head, I want for our viewers to get their head around exactly what analog effects does. Now, I know today we, we've introduced for the first time this brand new version. Yes. Can, can, I, I'd love to talk about when we come back just real quick because we don't have, we're just about out of time. Mm -hmm. But I would love to talk about. <laughs> Scott? Yeah. Scott King. Brian has shifted from photographer mode to PR publicist mode. And doing a damn good job. <laughs> yes, I might say so. When we come back, I want to, I want to, if you can kind of just go, here's what's new in version two. Yes. So here's what's different. Yes. But then I also, I, I know we talked about kind of the Instagram -y effects, but, but why would you want it in the first place? Why would, why would this plugin that you're getting for free if you already have the collection, like when would you reach for this? You're sure. reaching for this for blank. We're going to take a short break. We're back here with Brian Matias in just a moment. Don't go away. Benghazi. Look it up. Google it. Back. Matt's here. I am. Brian Matias is here. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey what's up? Hey, brother. Anyway, hey, I uh, just want to mention, uh, so every Thursday, which is tomorrow, we uh, introduce a new class on Kelby One. So I don't know if people realize that we have like a new online class like, like every, every week. Yeah, every week. This week, tomorrow, we're going to be releasing Babies and Toddlers uh, by Tamara Lackey. She's a wonderful family photographer, really, really great. And uh, she's doing a thing on photographing, not shooting, photographing 
babies and toddlers. And uh, anyway, she's just a terrific trainer. So please come and catch that. Uh, it's released tomorrow, Thursday. Every cool. Thursday, we have a brand new class. Last week, uh, Rick Salmon did a thing. And I actually, I asked Rick to do this class because I'm out on this tour, right? I'm out on the Shoot Like a Pro Tour. And I have so many people that come and tell me, I'm getting ready to go on a safari. I'm like, how are these people all going on safari? Like, I've never been on safari. Anyway, um, but a lot of people, uh, I mean, I, I, I guess it's, you know, obviously a very popular thing. And so uh, we went to Rick and said, Rick, you know, you've got, you, he does safaris and all this kind of stuff. And he yeah. did a great presentation. That was last week's class. So this week we're, we have Tamara and we've got some really cool stuff coming up. We've got an amazing class coming up from Joe McNally. Uh, we've got a lot of neat stuff in the bag already. In fact, we've we've got enough to take us through October. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we've got a lot, and we and we have new. We're still taping new stuff, so all kinds of stuff. There's really exciting stuff coming up this year. Hey, also Peach Pit Press. You may have heard them. They uh, have an e deal. They so every week they offer our viewers, which is you by the way, uh, a deal. So uh, Presentation Zen Design, uh, which is by Gar Reynolds, and he wrote I think like the the seminal book on uh, slideshows yeah. and presentations. Uh, so uh, he's really great. This is a follow-up on his, his, uh, his Presentation Zen. This one's called Presentation Zen Design, but the original book also, Presentation Zen, is one that everybody that ever's done a slideshow in their life needs to read. It's just absolutely brilliant. You get 40% off. Go to peachpit.com slash Kelby1. Enter the code Kelby1. If you can't remember the name, look at the top of my hat. And go there, and you get forty percent off. So you buy Gar Reynolds' book for what was it? It was inexpensive, like sixteen bucks or something. Sixteen seventy nine. That's pretty good. You can get. I gotta it. get that one. Yeah, like dude, his stuff is, and he's yeah. a great writer. Really, very, very good writer. Very, very good guy. So, oh, you know, in his second edition of a book, I, I have a thing in there. I did a little thing about using photography in. Uh, oh, cool. Slides. So, anyway, uh, but we're here with Brian Matias. Some questions are coming in. Uh, uh, so this is just straight up. Someone's asking. This is Dennis is asking. How about Silver FX Pro updates coming? Did, did he not? Did Dennis not <laughs> listen to the show like just, five minutes ago? Yeah, catch did it on the replay. Did you just tune in, Dennis? Yeah. So uh, just delete that. But the, actually, really, the second half is actually oh. kind of valid. Uh, I, I believe he's asking if there's real tilt and shift in analog to. Um, there is there. We did have in, in analog one. There was a there's a bokeh uh, filter, and in the first version, it was only uh, kind of circular, like mm -hmm. a circular kind of mask. And in AEP two, we did build a, a proper kind of tilt shift where you have independent controls of the hard edge and the soft edge, oh, okay. so you can get that that kind of landscapey tilt shifty, you know, blurry look. So that's new in analog effects two. So before we go through what's new, mm -hmm. so analog effects is 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 it designed to replicate traditional Darkroom effects, looks of particular film and things like that. Yeah, in a way, in a way, we definitely when we went uh, into building the different cameras and presets, uh, we looked at what the kind of vintage and alternative uh, styles were, like wet plate uh, processing or development rather. Um, do we call it process? Yeah, processing. Um, sure. But uh, and we we tried to recreate those. Uh, also, the, the actual qualities of the film themselves with the different types of grains, the different types of tints and tones that you can apply uh, to an image. Um, but also, while we're, we were building it, um, one, one thing that is very popular again now that's resurging that I'm sure is of no surprise or shouldn't be um, if you've been paying attention to photo streams is that kind of faded look. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge right huge. now. Huge. Um, huge. And I wonder if it's something that is uh, uh, that we would consider a phase, or it's just something that has that was its time to enter into the digital realm, and now it's just going to be there. Because I know for like wedding and portrait photographers, oh, it's huge. They go gaga over it. Um, so uh, that is that was kind of the aim with Analog Effects Pro, and I mean it's in the name Analog. Um, we try to kind of you know take a twist on you know vintage or traditional and we went analog because the film was very much analog mm -hmm. so that's kind of uh where we came at it. and you'll see that you'll see elements of that throughout the the product um to the, where we're again trying to pay uh some sort of a tribute in a way to to that kind of processing now you you guys are not the only players in this mm -hmm. game of creating film effects so so why do i want analog effects instead of any of the competitors? Like, what, what, what do you see as its particular advantage in the marketplace? Um, I, I definitely, the fact that it kind of uh, has 
the the strengths that the Nick collection already has, like specifically control points. That was one of the bigger things that we that with AEP one that we didn't have, but we, we have now. That's a, a new feature. Um, the ability to kind of easily refine using just one click and drag a slider and control where you want an effect. Not everyone wants to have, say, that faded effect or that um, the um, light leak throughout the image. Let's say you want to preserve it off the skin. Instead of having to go and you know fine uh, tune it with a masking brush, you can use um, a control point, and it'll determine. It'll look at whatever the source color and tone is, and it'll mask off. Yeah, the control evenly. point technology is is by itself is very amazing. Absolutely, and and I think um, Matt asked earlier, and I, we didn't. We kind of glossed over. Maybe it was you, Scott, but about like presets and like saving custom presets, and that's something actually that. I'm gonna be, like, that's a, a personal mission of mine going forward, um, in addition to um, culling videos, cool videos of what you can do um, with Analog Effects Pro 2. I also wanna start building collections of presets, um, like styles, like everyone has their own style, and that's Analog Effects Pro 2, uh, I think does a really nice job of allowing a photographer either to, uh, on the very easy side, just click a button and, and get a, cool, a very cool look, which I do think, um, is distinct from uh, other, uh, I guess, similar products. The looks that you can get rendered yeah. over here are definitely different. Um, but also, uh, there are specific tools over there. Like, I've never seen um, a product, and I didn't demo it, but the motion blur thing, where you can apply that weird motion blur, you can actually add motion blur additional points. So you, I could have had the, the stars curve like it did that way, then add another one and cause it to curve a different mm. way. Um, and I have a cool example that I didn't, uh, it, it was a happy accident. I was editing the image and I, like, what if I put a control point here? And it changed the look of the image fundamentally. Like it was really awesome. So there are um, things about Analog Effects Pro 2 that our engineers have built that I, I think s let it stand apart from other products. Um, and it works within Lightroom and Aperture I, and Photoshop. I, I would also say, you know, in answer to your question is I, I don't even, there's not too much out on the market that does what it does because most everything else that's out there are just presets. Yes. You can click them. Sometimes yep. you can fade them and tweak the settings, but it's like you, you've got more than presets. You've got, you, you've got textures, um, thing, things that you couldn't do yeah, I mean, with, one of the with a lot of those other programs. And, and a lot of those other programs almost cost about the same amount of money. That's absolutely true. I mean, look, the elephant in the room when I talk to people is usually Visco, but yeah. which is... Um, not knocking Visco whatsoever. I have all five packs. Yeah. Um, I have it on my phone. I have all their add-on packs. They're great, but they are essentially leverage Lightroom mm -hmm. in this case here. And I give those guys credit because whereas most other people who sell presets are just selling things that go from the basic down to about like sharpening, these guys build like camera profiles for every preset. Yeah, they did. They went all the way with yep. it. Yep, not knocking them. Awesome, but you are limited to whatever the controls are of Lightroom. Yeah, and Lightroom has a very finite amount of controls. Yeah. Lightroom's not like Photoshop, where you can do anything the mind imagines. Lightroom can do this, and it ends. Yep. And they can't do textures and borders nope. in Lightroom like nope. that. So. Or double exposures or anything like that. Yeah. So um, definitely, uh, the whole entire Nick collection, as it, as it currently stands, is a really nice kind of complement to Lightroom, uh, you know, with very, very defined uh, paths. So you want to do a really, really high-end kind of cool black and white, which also, if you want one-click presets, go to Silver Effect. You want to do something like adjust the overall color and tone of the image, go to Color Effects. You want you have multiple brackets, go to HDR Effects. You want to use tonal contrast that's not as good as the <laughs> 3? Go to, go to hey, so we're, we're way out, we're way over time here, but so can we just, just tell me what's new in version two. Now we want to reiterate version two, free, free. to existing users. Yes. Uh, if you, if you don't have it, you want it, you get, you can get it as part of the entire Nick collection. Correct. So you get HDR effects, you get all these different things. You mm -hmm. get tonal contrast, I mean, uh, color effects pro. You love tonal Silver contrast. Dude, I, dude, I love. And you can call it tonal contrast pro I and love, there's your plugin. I love That's tonal great. contrast. But, um, 
But so what's new that, that yeah. they get for free in this in this this is pretty pretty significant upgrade. Yeah, I had to actually pull up my post. The yeah, the I pulled up my post, which is kind of like our ad hoc press release. Um, but we have so control points uh, new in AEP two, uh, so you can kind of refine specifically where a particular effect or filter is applied. We have uh, a whole bunch of new cameras and presets. So uh, we added uh, a black and white camera, subtle bokeh, and simple color. Uh, simple color actually is, um, I think we, I can't remember if we changed the name of it. It's in the final product, but I was surprised. Like when I saw simple color or whatever the moniker is, it's awesome. I didn't show it in the demos here, but it's actually pretty cool, the, the presets under there. And then there's um, the new creative ways to present your images. Thank you, awesome. There. Uh, let me. Let me actually. Yeah. Where it. can they? Where can they read this? Uh, they go to Google Plus and find you. Just Brian Matish. Uh, yeah. Uh, Google Plus. Google. Com slash plus Brian Matish. And we want to spell Brian's name for you because it's impossible to spell. Uh, it is M A T I A S H. So if you will. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's me. Um, and that's me and Matt on my second appearance over there. That was a good time, Matt. Um, and so the, the last thing. Keep telling yourself that. Hey, you know, I want to believe. Yeah. So the, the last thing was, again, I kind of touched on it, the different ways to kind of present your images. So there's uh, the motion blur, um, the double exposure, and the, um, and the, I didn't show, but you can actually create triptychs and diptychs in really cool ways. So, yeah. All right, so go to Brian's G Plus page. Watch it. Someone's asking what? if it only works on JPEGs. Um, it works on TIFFs. It doesn't support PSDs, Photoshop. Um, yeah, Photoshop PSDs, but it'll, uh, if when you send, it's very simple when you go here and you, if we come on right there, edit in, and Analog Effects Pro 2, there are your file format options. If you do send PSD just to let you know, it, will, it, it won't work. So it's um, <laughs> JPEG or TIFF. Okay. Raw? No. Well, you, yeah, you edit a raw at, file. How could it work mm -hmm. in a raw file? Oh, yeah. well, it, well, it won't convert it or anything. It'll but, convert it to TIFF. Right, that's, like, right yeah. but, yeah. But, but that's pretty much almost any plugin. Any yeah, plugin yeah, that yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah, use. Yeah. If it's a plugin, you're leaving, you're taking that, creating yeah. a, a 8 or whatever version, and applying the effect yeah. and all. But it, your, your original is still untouched, so it's like you can, you know, it's is not it like... Really? How does that work? How does it work? <laughs> well, let's Dude. talk about sidecar files. <laughs> let's talk about XMP. Anyway, yeah. hey, guys, we, we've run way over today. Brian, thank you so much for coming. Thank and, you and for and having We're me. honored that you would uh, reveal it here on the grid, so thank you very much for doing that. First place I thought of. Uh, thanks to everybody. want to thank the, the team at NIC uh, and all the engineers in Germany yeah. who have done an amazing job and continue to. And uh, I think a lot of our, our viewers were, I think they, uh, it was cool to see them. Yep. It was cool to see a picture of them. And... Um, we are looking forward to more things. Oh, hey, I, I, there, so yeah. I think Wrong one question that, I, I mean, yeah. everybody's wondering this, so um, when's, <laughs> a, when's the next version of Color Effects coming out? What about Silver <laughs> Effects Pro 2? Can you just um, give us a date? So today is uh, May 14th. I'm going to go ahead and say I can't comment. <laughs> I know I have no <laughs> recollection of that. I'm Senator. sorry. Yes, uh, I have no recollection of that date, Senator. All right, giveaways, 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 giveaways. Where do you go for giveaways? It depends, on what, it depends giveaways? on what your definition yeah, we, now, of color effects. You have to tell is. us what you want to win. All right, so that's the weird thing. If you want to win one of the Kelby One hats, you have to say hat. If you want to win the Down and Dirty Tricks book, you say, say Down and Dirty. Corey's book. <laughs> Scott's book, or Matt's prints, metal print. You have to say mountain. Mountain. Uh, mountain. Mountain. That was mountain. a tri mountain. trillium, right? Dude, I, I always, I don't know that's what That's trillium, is. right? That is, uh, yeah, that's Trillium Lake. Oh, that's just outside another, of Portland. Yeah, another fine. Really, I'm surprised it's not in Tampa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, oh, look what I found. Right, what? This is, Where did this you get is, that? This is the, uh, this Palouse. is just behind the office. Yeah. I'm going to kill you, seriously. So that's the uh, pollution. Both All right, so I asked for Canvas, contract. and was there anything else we had hats? Nick. Oh, the Nick, the Nick collection. Well, everyone's going to ask for the Nick collection. That's not fair. Of course, if they already have it, they won't. Correct. But uh, thank you for making that available to us. Thank you for Matt coming Blair. and sharing this with us. Thank you. This was very enlightening. I am very, very happy, as I'm sure a lot of our viewers are, to see that Nick is still creating plugins. Because I have to tell you, and I'm going to take a, you know, I was one of the guys that said, there's no way Google bought Nick to create plugins. And I thought we would never see another plugin. 
I was wrong. Uh, you saw it, so it's too. okay. I, it happens more often than you think. Did y'all show them the contest website? Because they're just throwing it up. Yeah, where's the contest website? Can we see it? There it is. Kelby1.com slash webcast slash contest. I am not going to show you how to fill out a form. Just leave your comments on what <laughs> uh, prize you want to win. I would ask Brian when Silver Effects 2 Pro is going to ship. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, that'll probably get you to the I would like then. to ask that as well. Would you? Yeah. So, Sven. Sven, <laughs> chime in if you'd like. <laughs> Why don't you just, you, Sven, can, you, you can talk in Google Talk, the, Q4, that's Q3, it's okay, we're good with it. Thanks everybody for watching, Matt, thank you as always. Take care everybody. Thank you for sharing shots in my hometown I can never get. <laughs> Brian, thank you for being with Matt and helping him because I, you are an inspiration to everyone that you're around, and I mean that not really. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no thanks comment. everybody, we'll see you guys next week, take care.